Okay, so I love to read. I, I always have. I, I love the adventure, the romance, the journey. I love the connection you form with the characters. I love the connection that you form with the book itself. I borrowed my friend's Kindle to read The Hunger Games, and The Hunger Games are amazing, but there's something about replacing a book with a screen that's vaguely reminiscent of the Panem Capital. I'm not going to get into that, but, you know, thank God I grew up reading, and that the book is so important and kind of sentimental for me. There are certain books that I've read countless, countless times. Harry Potter, Looking for Alaska, those are, you know, the best examples. And I feel that opening a book involves all of the senses. You know, you have a hot chocolate on standby. You're curled under the covers or on a really comfortable couch. You're listening to yourself when you read aloud or gasp at really exciting parts. The smell of an old book. There's nothing quite like it. And, you know, books really are my friends. I, I can say that without shame. In fact, I was talking with one of my friends, uh, a person, not a book, and he, he said that Harry will be the most popular boy's name of our generation's children. And honestly, I couldn't agree more with that, which is, I think, excellent proof for books and the impact they have and the importance of them. And then we have the Kindle. So f first off, I should clear up. The technology involved is unbelievable. The fact that you can have thousands and thousands of books at your fingertips that they're so ready and available is unbelievable and I'm very grateful that it opened up reading to a whole new crowd of people that otherwise would never have started. But I miss the smell of a book. While reading The Hunger Games, I miss turning the pages, the weight slowly building in my left hand as the story progresses. John Green said in a Question Tuesday uh, link in my pants, the question was, what is the most archaic thing you can do? And his answer was, well, I'm pretty good at turning magazine pages. But now with all the technology out there, you know, maybe that was less of a joke than, than he had intended. Uh, also, because of my religion, I'm an Orthodox Jew, I can't read Kindles on Shabbat. And if the power were to go out during a thunderstorm or a really bad blizzard, you know, after a day or two, you wouldn't have any books, which which scares me way more than the weather could. So, uh, am I a technophobe? Well, I mean, maybe. I'm sitting in front of my window using nature as my lighting. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I probably am. But, you know, reading is reading at the end of the day. And, uh... However you get there, I hope that you take that step, that you open up an incredible book and that you enjoy the adventure. So, I'm sorry I missed a couple of videos again. Uh, more to come though, most definitely. I'll see you soon enough. I hope you have an awesome weekend. See you later.